guys, Jessica here, The Furry Family Coach. Today's video, we're doing part two of our grooming series, at home grooming, dog grooming for beginners. So I wanna say thank you to the uh, Amazon sellers of this professional dog hair clipper <laughs> who sent me this product to try out. We're gonna be using this. I'm really excited about it because it's actually cordless. And uh, I'm also going to be using this set of um, scissors. They're, they're made for pets to cut hair. Um, I actually purchased these a while ago. Um, so I will link both of these products in the description below. What I really like about these particular scissors is that the tip on them, let me get these out so you can kind of see, is blunt. Um, so I think that's a really good feature for scissors when you have a pet <laughs> that you're working with. So we're gonna use all of these products today to groom Kim at home. In the last video, if you didn't catch it, we did at home dog bathing. So if you didn't catch it in the last video, the first part of the at home dog grooming, we did a bathing at home and we used the aqua paw, which I really, really, really liked. Um, so if you didn't check out that video, I will link it in the description as well. It's also part of this playlist. So I'll link the whole playlist in the description, of course, um, grooming, we wouldn't have a grooming series if I didn't include trimming your dog's nails. I did that before we actually even bathed Kim, but I have a dog nail trimming for beginners video. I'll link that. It'll also be in the playlist and I'll link it in the description below. So let's get set up. So when one of the most important things, oh, real quick, before we get too far in this video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. And if you look right down there at that subscribe button, if it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray when that happens, a bell will appear. So click the bell, select all notifications, and that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. So one of the most important things um, that you can do when grooming your dog at home is to get everything set up in advance. So I've you know, if you're fortunate enough to have really good weather today when you're watching this video and you wanna groom your dog outside, great, go ahead. It's a little chilly today. I didn't wanna be outside in the cold and it's also really difficult to video outside. So I just set up a blanket. We're gonna use a blanket today and it's going to hopefully trap all of the hair that we, I said blanket, this is a sheet. I set up a sheet. <laughs> um, I would say use a, uh, either a blanket or a sheet. I don't think a towel is going to be big enough. It's not gonna be a big enough service area. So go ahead and get set up, get all of your tools out. This um, clipper set that I got, I've actually already opened it up, but I'll go ahead and open it again. I'm gonna get everything set up. What I really liked about this clipper set is that it is electric and wireless um, and really cool. It actually came fully charged. So I'm gonna turn it on real quick and you can see it's 100% charged. So we're ready to go here. It also comes with nail trimmers if you don't have those. Um, and here we go. All of the clipper heads. So it came with four different sizes of clipper heads. If you're unsure about what size to use, I would recommend going, starting with the largest and then working your way down until you get to the length that you want to get to. Um, another really key thing about grooming your dog at home is one, you wanna work with your dog. So you move around your dog. Don't move your dog around a whole bunch and play with them before we get started. Um, get a bunch of exercise, get, get some exercise in your dog before you start grooming. You want to make sure that they are, they're not rambunctious, right? <laughs> before you start grooming. So if they get some exercise first, maybe you can have their meal first. That's up to you. Depending on um, how many times a day they eat, you can even feed them their meal first, take them for a walk, get them good and tired, and then start grooming. We also want to do uh, the more delicate areas first. Um, so I'm gonna start around Kim's head and then we'll move our way around. Be very, very careful in areas that your dog is sensitive. So their stomach and their abdomen, um, any private, you know, private parts um, around their eyes and ears. 
these are gonna be the more sensitive areas. Be extra careful in these areas. We do not, I would rather my dog have a bad, bad haircut than to accidentally hurt my dog. So <laughs> when I'm grooming her. So I'm gonna be very, very careful. We're gonna start with her head and we're gonna work our way down. I actually really love how wild and crazy Kim's hair looks. So we're not gonna take a ton off, but I know my husband is probably very excited. He has been wanting to trim her hair up pretty much since we got her. <laughs> what did you say, for five years? <laughs> for five years. So I think he's pretty excited about trying these clippers out today. So let's get started. Okay, so we always wanna start by brushing our dog. And typically a groomer, if you take your dog to a groomer, they're gonna start with um, the clippers and then work their way to the scissors. But like I said earlier, because you know we're at home and we're you know, beginners, we're trying to just do the best we can. We are going to start with the most sensitive areas first. Oh, give me. So I'm probably gonna start around her head, around her face, and get that cleaned up a little bit. My, what did, you know, figure out what your goal is with grooming your dog. My goal for Kim is just to make her look clean and neat and to make sure that she doesn't have any hair like blocking her eyes. That's my biggest goal with Kim. So figure out what your goal is, and that's what we wanna focus on first, um, because we know over time our dog is gonna get antsy, uh, so we want to get the most important stuff done first. So once we got our dog um, <laughs> brushed, hey baby. Okay, we're gonna start around the face, around the face and around the eyes. Um, a good rule of thumb is to always have your your finger between the scissor and your dog so you're not going to harm your dog. Come here, sweetie. Hey, girl. Another thing um, we should be doing is rewarding. So whatever your dog really loves, whether it's treats uh, or maybe her their favorite toy, we want to reward frequently. So I should have brought some treats over, shouldn't I have? So we're gonna start, I'm just gonna trim the hair around her face. Come here, baby. <laughs> it's also gonna be important to make sure before you start that your scissors are sharp. Um, you don't want to use dull scissors because then you're gonna wind up like yanking your dog's hair. You want like just like really quick, quick really quick, clean cut so it's not gonna harm your dog. Good girl. Another reason to keep your finger between, like your two fingers between your dog and your scissors is it's going to make sure that when you're cutting your dog's hair, you're winding up with like an even length anywhere you're cutting. Explain to him what a fanger is. <laughs> finger? A fanger. <laughs> what is a fanger? My finger? Finger. Okay. I thought you were talking about one of her big front oh, teeth or something. Okay. A finger. Right, Here's your fingers. Get another treat. Come over here. Come over there. Another area that your dog is not going, more than likely, you're not, your dog is not going to love for you to trim, but it is important to trim, is the fur around their paw pads that like grows in between their paw pads because that fur can really attract a lot of dirt and bacteria. And we want to make sure we're keeping our dog's paws um, as clean as possible. So once you've got the dog's hair around their eyes and face where you want it, we want to move on to the clippers. Again, this set that uh, I just got off of Amazon, they are the professional hair clippers. What I really like about these, this is the box that it comes in. What I really like about this one, it is a starter set of clippers, um, but it's wireless or cordless. I want to say wireless. It's cord they're cordless. So there are a range of clippers out there on the market. I did put the um, largest guard on here. Um, another thing you want to know about using clippers with your dog is you want to go with the growth of the hair when you're clipping the hair. If you go against the growth of the hair, you're going to wind up with like lines and streaks and you don't want that. So, um, but the, the cordless feature of these clippers is really, really cool. If you're just starting out, beginning, 
to you know do your dog's hair i think this is a really great way to go they're very inexpensive so we're going to give these a go next like i said earlier work with your dog not against your dog so we're just going to go in long clean lines Throw him another snap. Good job. So when you're just starting out, especially if this is the first time you're grooming your dog, they may not be real keen to being groomed. And that's understandable um, for any dog. So that's why we want to reward as much as possible. We want to provide positive reinforcement. And over time, your dog will start to learn that they're not going to be harmed. Um, the sound of this, they, yeah, it, it may be a little, um, you know, they don't, they don't like it too much and that's completely understandable. But as we do this and as we provide positive reinforcement, especially in the form of treats, and we just continue to reward, your dog is going to become more comfortable with it. Good job. Good job. Also, don't be afraid to break this up into multiple sessions if your dog needs a break. If you, if you really notice that your dog is having a really hard time, don't be afraid to break this up into multiple sessions. And I'm just gently putting my hand on him so that she doesn't walk away, but she in no way is being forced to stay where she's at. Um, if she gets up and walks away, she can get up and walk away. Good girl. Oh, this kind of girl. And like I said, don't be afraid to turn this <laughs> into multiple sessions if we need to. I'm gonna get her another treat. Let me get another treat. It's a big one, so you can sit there for a minute. Um, I'm gonna take a minute and just assess where we're at, what I want to do next. Um where I feel like she needs more attention, which again is gonna be for Kim right in this area. I do also wanna caution you, anytime you're using clippers, now I'm using a, a, the largest guard that I have. Um, and like I said, start with the largest guard that you have and work your way down until you get the desired length on your dog. But I do wanna caution you with clippers that they do get hot. So if you somehow start using just the clippers without a guard, they do get hot. So you wanna check them um, periodically to make sure they're not burning your dog because they absolutely can burn your dog's skin. So let's see. We got a few areas we need to look at, huh, pretty girl? Oh, there we go. Of course, the rewards help, and that is the idea. We want to use rewards to get your dog to feel more comfortable and to know that, you know, this, this is okay right like this is a, a positive experience even though the noise is a little bit bothersome for her um there are some areas that are going to be easier to get that clippers aren't aren't going to do as well of course i do have the largest guard on so i'm going to switch the guard in just a minute um but some areas around the face and the legs scissors are going to be a little bit better at you know getting those areas so if you start out and you feel discouraged don't worry too much about it. Um, we can use a smaller guard, which I'm actually getting ready to. <laughs> You're just a little bit off the sheet right now, I don't know if you know. I know. Ideally, your dog would be standing up, but I'm just trying to work with what I've got here. Um, and I recommend you do the same because it's more about them being comfortable and having a positive experience so you can continue to do this than anything else. Of course you want, you want your dog to look decent when you're done. <laughs> but um, we also want our dog to have a positive experience. So if she's willing to sit here, then I'm going to work around that. I'm a pretty girl. Ooh. Can we get the belly? Be very, very, very careful around your dog's belly and abdomen. It's a very sensitive area. Um, so I'd rather you, especially as a beginner, to leave this hair a little bit longer and not harm your dog um, because it is a very, very sensitive area. Okay. 
Okay, we wanna assess, see where we're at, see if we need to get to the scissors. I think there's a couple of spots on the side she was laying on. Okay, so once you get to the point where you feel like you've done just about as much as you can with the clippers, we're gonna go back in with the scissors and try to get um, those more delicate areas that just need a little bit more attention, like around the legs and maybe around the face, the jawline a little bit. So I just gave Kim a treat, but I wanna give her. She's doing so good. Yes, you are, baby. My good girl. My good girl. A good girl. This is my good girl. This is my good girl. I don't think it's been three hours. just want to get some of these wild hairs. All right guys, so I think we're done with Miss Kimmy here. We just took the scissors over around her face and her legs to make sure we got all of the little stray hairs cleaned up and we treat, we gave her a lot of treats because we want this to be a very positive experience. So uh, my husband just pointed out to me that you know you're successful when you have more hair on your pants than your dog has left. <laughs> which I know I have a big mess to clean up here, but um, it was a, it's a small price to pay for a beautiful, well-groomed dog. So I hope the tips in this video help you out. Okay, so here she is before we started grooming, and now here she is after we're done grooming. I will say I, I still am undecided if I really like her with short, I mean, I, well, I love her either way, but if I like the short hair better or if I like her long wild hair better, I am I think I'm kind of partial to her long wild hair. My husband, I'm almost positive, really loves her short hair. So we'll see um, how often we do this, but I did want to bring I this I love video. short hair of my dog and long hair of my wife. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> um, but I did want to bring this video to you. I do think this grooming kit, let me grab the box again. Um, the professional hair clippers, which you can find on Amazon, I do have linked in the description below. It, it came with all sorts of stuff and I have a, a video clip um, where I actually unboxed it for you, so I'll insert that. You know, they're a great little starter set for you if you have never groomed your dog before or uh, you know, if, you, if you're just starting out, I think this is a really great starter set. It even comes with um, a set of scissors for your dog as well as nail trimmers for your dog. So if you don't have anything and you're just starting out, this is a great little set, very inexpensive. Again, it is linked in the description below. The scissors I used came in a set. I will also link those in the description below. Kim was a trooper today, and so I do hope you comment down below, post some hearts, post, <laughs> post, yay Kim, you look amazing in the comments down below. I will share every single one of your comments with her because I, you know, we all know that our dogs love the positive reinforcement. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Again, check the description for the link to the playlist for the grooming series because this is multiple videos in a series. I do hope it's helpful. I hope all the tips help you out. Let me know by commenting down below. Also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and look right down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. Once it's gray, a bell will appear next to it. So click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Also, make sure to check me out on Patreon. That link is also in the description. There is lots of exclusive content there. So if you are a pet parent, I definitely recommend you check me out over on Patreon. Again, thank you so much for being here with us today in this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.